As you know, last week the New South Wales government brought out its uh, flood report, where it made a lot of suggestions about the backroom operations of the SES and the rural fire service and the federal. Who cares, right? Let's actually just find out from a bloke who's had to deal with all of this multiple times. He's our mate, and we. It's been too long since we've talked to him, so I'm pleased to say Steve Craig, the uh, Lord Mayor of Lismore, joins us now. Great man. Um, in that report that came out, there was a lot of things about maybe buybacks, maybe more social housing. In it, was there the stuff that you needed that you've been screaming for? G'day, Paul. It has been too long, mate. Um, you're right. Um, listen, the report was good. There was nothing um, that anyone turned their head about. Everything that was in the report was, was what we expected to be in the report. The problem with it is... There's no detail to it. So the land swaps, the buybacks, they're probably going to run into the billions of dollars to do it properly. Uh, there's no funding allocations. I believe the state govern government hasn't even asked the federal government to help with the funding of that yet. Um, there's a lot of issues with it leading into what's going to be forecast as another very wet summer. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Another punch that's coming, you know, they seem to be endless. Um, but again, I remember when you were driving me around, showing me around Lismore, obviously there's the, the area that was on the way towards the showground, areas that just look like it had just been wiped off the map. Presumably that's the sort of stuff they're talking about, about saying, look, you can't rebuild there. But it's great to have this idea. There wasn't a map in there where they drew a map around the parts of Lismore that qualified for this or for that. Instead, I mean, it's, it's frustrating for me just watching, let alone you living, that there's all this stuff sort of up here, but there's not enough down at kind of the UBD level, dare I say. And that's the frustration in the community, to be honest with you, Paul. No one really knows what's going to happen. No, like... They're supposed to be opening up expressions of interest for prospective landowners who want to put their land up for potential land swaps um, by the end of August. So by then, we're well over six months after what is a, the biggest natural disaster in Australia's history, and we're only now starting to talk about solutions with no funding, no allocations and really no communication between federal, state and local governments as to how we're going to make this work. Yeah, well, look, we don't quite have the year that we used to have, but we'll try to, uh, to push them as hard as we can on your behalf in terms of Canberra. But also, can we just talk a little bit practical, uh, practically as well? When, when we were there a month after, there were people turning up to the showgrounds, they were getting food, they were getting clothes. Is that still going on uh, you know, almost, as you say, you know, many, many months after that? Um, so we've had to centralise a lot of those um, community outreach programs. We do have a food bank in town now, which is operating, and uh, the, the food and, and the product isn't free. They're donation sort of setups. Um, we still have our resilient Lismore operation in town, which is led by one of our councillors doing a great job helping in the, the reconstruction of people's homes. We've got the Koori Ma, which we visited, which is still operating and helping out our community, but a lot of those community operations have either gone or they've amalgamated. Mm. All right. Now, we're going to keep an eye on everything. Please reach out any time you need sort of a mention or maybe sort of some plugs for this, that or the other, mate. We're always there. But strength and love to you. You're an excellent advocate for your community. I don't know where you find the strength, but God love you for doing so. Thank you, mate. Thanks, Paul.